Explain like I'm 5 why is 0.9 recurring the equivalent of 1? Every two real numbers have infinitely many numbers between them. If two numbers don't have any numbers between them, it's because they actually just the same number. Because there is no number that is larger than 0.999 and smaller than 1, that means they are at the same point on the number line and have the same value. This property applies to all terminating decimals. For example, a quarter can be 0.25 or it can be 0.24999. Both are equivalent. By convention, we usually use the terminating form because it is easier to represent. Calculate the difference to 1. 1 0 0.99. 0 0.00. The result is infinite zeros followed by 1. Since it's infinite you never reach the 1. Which means the number actually is 0. If the difference between two numbers is 0 they are identical. If s 0 0.999. Then 10 s 9.999. So by subtracting the first equation from the second, we get 9s 9.000, and therefore s1. What's the difference between them? 1 minus 0.999 repeating is 0 0.000 repeating. It's pretty clear that 0 0.000 repeating is equal to 0 so it must follow from that that 0.999 is also equal to 1. 0 0.9 repeating is actually just a really bad way of saying 3 thirds. And if you have 3 thirds that's just 1. The oversimplified proof is 130.3333. Constant values. 31330.3333. Multiply both sides by 3. 10.9999. Divide 1 by 3. That gives you 0 0.333333 recurring. Now multiply that back by 3. It gives you 0 0.999999 recurring. But also 1. They are the same. It gets infinitely close as 9s are appended. That means. The difference between 0 0.9 recurring and 1 is infinitely small. Real numbers have a property where if we have two numbers and there's no number between them, they are really the same number it's not always the case see integers or rationals. There's no number between 0 0.9 recurring and 1. Therefore they are the same number. If 1 and 0 0.99 were different then there would be more numbers between them. In order to be bigger than 0 0.99, it must start with 1. But in order to be smaller than 1 it must not start with 1. Can you find a number between 1 and 0 0.99999? No? What could that mean? Because we use 10 digits 09. That means 0 0.999 recurring is 0 plus all of the difference between 0 and 1. It's the slowest way of writing 1. Where you can never finish writing enough 9s to make 1. But if you actually had an infinite number of them like when you say 0 0.999 recurring then the difference between that and 1 is 0 0.000 recurring. There is no after infinity where you can have a 1 at the end. I just see it as the more 9s you add after the decimal point the closer to 1 you get. Like 0 0.999 0 0.99 0 0.9. Then. You contemplate how insignificant the difference between the two numbers is. If a ball has to fall half of its current distance before it can hit the floor and you can always divide a number into a smaller fraction how does the ball ever hit? At some point the way math works to model something can break down. There's a math equation used to show a curve getting ever closer to a line. Then they use this to calculate the area between the curve and line. It equals infinity but the reality is it wouldn't take infinite paint to fill it. Edit sometimes the difference between 1 and 0.9 repeating matters. Most times it does not. A number is equal to another number if a b 0. 
What's the difference between 1 and 0 0.9 recurring? Is it greater than 0? The simplest way to explain it is that if you try to explain the numeral difference between the two, it doesn't actually exist no matter how far you go down the rabbit hole you just see another 9. Which means the difference between 0.9 repeating and 1 is entirely theoretical. Not material at all. Because you can't write down any number that falls between these two. Therefore they are different ways of representing the same number. Because no number can be fit in between. Since it's infinitely a tiny bit more. It's the same because no step comes between 0.9999999999 and 1. Because 0.9 repeating is not a number or rather, not a normal number. Because infinity is not a number. It's a concept. 0.9 repeating is one third which is also a concept and not a number. We choose to represent it numerically a certain way. But they're concepts. And these concepts are not easily represented in a base 10 decimal system. Change the system to, say, base 12. And suddenly 1 3 becomes 0 0.4 instead of 0 0.33333. No need for infinity but it's still a concept. It's just easier to represent in that system. It's not. It's more accurate to say that it illustrates a limitation in the 10 base numbering system we use. Because any proof we have mathematically to demonstrate that 0.9 repeating and 1 aren't the same. Won't work. So it's not so much that 0.9 and 1.0 are the same. It's just that we cannot mathematically prove they are different. Take a cookie. Now break off a very very small piece. Do you notice a difference? No. So there ya go. A way to visualize it. 0.99 out of 10. Which is 90 of 1. 0.9999 out of 100. 99 of 1. 0.999999 out of 1000. 99.9 .9 of 1. 0.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999